Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Partners in Cream project pan update. I'm filming it today, which is the 12th, so I'm a little bit late on it. I'm gonna edit it today, so it'll be probably uh, Friday's video. It will be up in Friday 14th. I'm sorry for the delay, but I didn't have the time to film before. Before we go to the video, if you want to see this look, stay tuned because I'm using every single one of my Natasha Denona palettes to create looks. I think I have 18 of them. I don't have the right number yet. I don't know why, you guys, because I'm already filming the series. And I'm going to be creating everyday and soft glam or glam looks with my Natasha Denona collection just to show you that we need to use our stuff. So today, let's just go into the update. This project was created by Stefan Delin. The only rule is that no powders are allowed. And I have currently on this project seven products. And today I'm not gonna be rolling anything out, but I have major progress in a few things. So if you wanna see this video before we go, please give this video a thumbs up. If you like this type of content, subscribe if you haven't already. I do a lot of project pans, but I'm gonna be having a Natasha Denona week, a bronzer week. I also have a lot of blush content because cheek products are my favorite and I'll be having the 18 days or whatnot with Natasha Denona looks. You'll be seeing tutorials as well. So if you wanna see my Partners in Cream update, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so the first product that I have here, I've already tried to roll as much as I could out, is the Huda Beauty The Overachiever Concealer. These I've been wearing like a crazy person. I do wear my Milani one, the CoverGirl one, a few of the ones that I got as a gift from my friend Janet, but I've been using mostly this concealer. And I don't think that I have that much progress in it. It's basically at the line of the Overachiever, which is this uh, a skin color line. I will need to keep using it. I know that you need the tiniest amount. This is super full coverage and I've grown to like it. I know that it's not the most fresh looking concealer or the most hydrating looking concealer, but sometimes if I'm wearing something that's super lightweight and I need some coverage in the center of my face, this will give it to me. So the color is nice as well. I use the shade Nougat and I'm excited that I get to finish another product, but I'm not that in a hurry to get rid of it. It's a good concealer, to be honest. You need the tiniest amount to your entire face. And if you don't want to use it that way, you could use it as a base for your eyeshadow as well. So yeah, this one is staying in the project, but I know that these will be done by the end of the year for sure. I tallied almost everything, but I didn't tally the Mary foundation that I said that I was gonna tally it. It has been used as well. I've used it about 10 times, which is a ton. I'm wearing it on my skin today. This is a beautiful foundation. It tends to get me a little bit more oily than I like to be, but it's a good one. It's a good one. It's good for every day. I prefer to use these only on spots that I need coverage, like it was meant to be used. But the truth is that since it's not my shade, I have to wear it all over and then try to uh, make do with the concealer to get the right shade for me. So when I get the right shade for me, I know the way that I will use it. And I know that now it comes with more product. I'm only rolling a little bit at a time to know that I'm going through it. Because when you roll up a little bit more, then you don't really seem to know the progress. And since it's broken, I can't pull it all out because it will just fall off. This is a beautiful foundation, like I said. It's clean beauty. It's never bad for your skin. The Mary products are just wonderful on your skin. They are for the minimalist type of makeup user, but I tend to really reach for the Mary products that I have, and I'm not a makeup minimalist. This brand is a brand to get to know better, and I have to say, you guys, since I'm filming this, and it's a cream, creams allowed type of project pan, the Merit Sheer Balm Bronzer, Chef's kiss, you guys. Chef's kiss. I think it's my favorite Mary product so far. Well, and the lipsticks, for sure. Okay, so that one is staying on the project. And that, I don't know if I'll be done by the end of the year because I tend to reach for other foundations and rotate my foundation collection. But I'm happy to make progress in it. This one, I actually tallied it. And I've been using it every single day because I use this shade to go to the gym as a lip balm. And this is the NARS Laguna Lip Balm. This was a gift with purchase. And I have a little tally right here. And you can see this is where I started the line right here. And this is where I am. So I use quite a bit. I only apply it once a day. So I've applied it 
about 30 times if I'm not mistaken so far sometimes I have like twice a day no more than that I liked it you guys but I was more obsessed with it when I got it and now that I've used it every day I prefer to wear something like the tint that I'm wearing on my lips today like the Hindash tint or something more uh, vibrant or something that makes me look more alive and flushed so I will keep using it I will finish it up and then I will make it part of my Franken lip balm that I have right here in this Ella Luce content when I flatten it out but I wouldn't purchase this one I, I would purchase a shade that has more red to it or even the orgasm shade that has a hint of a pink to it so these I think will stay for one more month or maybe until the end of the project you guys I know that you remember the never-ending oil stick from Urban Decay and I said that I wanted to keep working on my Urban Decay Glide On eye pencils which I have been for a lot of years now and then i decided to place a stash as a replacement for oil slick and you guys i've been using this and it has been a dream to use i've been using it for my wing liner i've been using it in my, my waterline then i have also used it as a companion to my makeup by mario palette and then for my level up palette which is right now the modern renaissance this is beautiful beautiful a beautiful green shade i'm gonna swatch it so that you guys can see and it has shimmer in it Oh my goodness you guys this is perfect as a wing liner it's beautiful and it's more subdued than black which black is my go-to but I just I've been really enjoying this I was amazed to see the progress since for oil flick it took me forever to make a little bit of progress so when I started the pencil was right here without the cap and now it's right here so it's a major, major progress in my opinion, you guys. I know I have a long way to go. Um, I still have a, a lot of pencil, but I'm almost positive that I can finish this before the year is over. If you don't see it at the end of the project, you may see it on my empties at the end of the year because I've been using it. I've been using it without thinking about it being in a project pen. I just have it in my everyday makeup bag and... I've been grabbing it almost every time that I do my makeup unless I'm filming a tutorial like today and it doesn't go with the look or I just want to use one palette but this is beautiful I would repurchase this shade for sure it's just perfection I feel like even though it's a green it's as wearable as a brown you guys I didn't mark this one either but I know that you would only have to push it a little bit and the product would start coming out and I thought it had an air bubble but I've used this about 10 times or 12 times this month I've been using it to go to the gym not as the only blush I go to the gym about five to six times a week and I've been using these um, a ton this doesn't have an air bubble so far but it's been getting a little bit more on the thinner side but you need only two dots of it and I don't like wasting my product not even if it's in a project pan so I, I know that I won't be able to finish this before the year is over I know it unless it would be the only blush that I would use and I would reapply throughout the day but that's not gonna be the case this is super sheer it's beautiful on the cheeks I find it to be lovely I think it would be one of those blushes that if you have dry skin and it, you don't like setting your makeup it will look even more lovely but for me that I set my makeup it looks a, more, a little bit more subdued and more um, on the sheer side which I really like but it's gonna take me a long time to finish it and I'm okay with it for the blush I just wanna reach for it a ton and I know that this will be a focus product for next year because even though I love it I think I prefer my other cream blushes more so maybe this will be one that I can focus on another project pan next year but it's beautiful you guys the dewy blush in the shade coconut and I bought it because Amanda Cocueva used it a ton on her classes and I was taking her makeup lessons and I was obsessed with the look of this blush specifically this shade so I had to have it I think that you can find these at Sephora but I know for sure that you can buy them at Look Fantastic the Burberry Fresh Glow, I'm going to show you the measurement that I had from my finger and then I'm going to show you the one from my last update so you can see that I've used it from the last update as well. This was the measurement that I had, it would reach right here and you can see it right here so I've used more than half of the product that I initially started with 
but then when I see the progress from last month to now it's a lot of progress as well so you can see it it goes from here to here and this I use it as a base for highlighter I used it today and then I grab it with my finger warm it up and then tap it and then apply the powder highlighter on top it's beautiful it can work on its own I was thinking to use these on the gym but I don't wear highlighter for the gym I sweat a ton so I don't need to add a highlighter and I was hopeful that I could finish this before the year is over but I'm not that sure maybe if I use it as a dewy primer underneath a matte foundation I can or something like that but I like to use products for their purpose so I haven't been using this every day to be honest I use it about half the month or about 15 times a month so I use it a ton but if I would commit to using it every single day maybe I will see it done before December 10th let's see you guys let's see if not I will finish it next year and I don't mind waiting for it I'm just happy that I'm getting progress out of it and that it will soon be out of my collection because that has been a really neglected product and it's actually pretty beautiful okay you guys and the last product that I have here is the follow the sun by Stila I didn't reach for this one not even once you guys I don't like gold I'm gonna keep it in the project because I need to finish it but I do not wear gold. I try to wear it, but it's just not me. So sometimes I will put it like, for example, today, if I'm gonna film another video and I don't want the look to be exactly the same, then I can wear a little bit of this and tap it and then I will have some sparkle. But that's the only way that I wear it. It's just definitely not my favorite shade from the Stila Glitters and Glow. It's pretty, it's just the not the right shade for me. So I will have to use this one more, but this one I'm positive that I can finish before the year or the project is over. I just need to reach for it a little bit more. Okay, you guys, so that's it for this update. I know I didn't roll anything out, but that's good too because I only have two months until the project is over. What I wanna do for next month is maybe finish the Stila one and rotate something that I wanna get some progress that I can start making progress on for next year or whatever and then I truly want to try and finish up the Huda concealer I'm gonna focus on using that every single day and maybe that way I can finish it I actually wear concealer for the gym I sometimes wore that but not this month so I'm gonna see if I can put it on my gym bag um, on my gym makeup bag and see if I can use it that way because then after when I'm gonna do my makeup looks I can use that as the only focus concealer and maybe using it twice a day or like 10 times a week I can actually finish it because I don't like wasting concealer on my lids I would prefer to use a drugstore concealer for that so what I'm gonna do is I'm maybe gonna do that to see if I can finish it before the next update and hopefully I can also finish the NARS Laguna lip balm since I've been using it a lot as well that's it you guys for the rest of the products I don't think that they will be a uh, short-term product uh, the Mary foundation the dewy blush the highlighter and the eyeliner I think they will stay either until the end of the project or until next year um, and I will just make some more progress out of it. So that's it for this video, you guys. Don't forget to check out Stefan Berlin, the creators of this project pan. And let me know if you want to keep seeing this project pan next year because I've been thinking about just stopping doing partners in stream and then doing a whole collection project pan and just picking and choosing my project pans since I've been doing the Level Up project pan, the Panda palette. I don't want to get overwhelmed by project pans. And I know the one that I don't want to leave behind is the panda face palette project let me know if you love this project pan please in the comments um not only giving this video a thumbs up that way i will know that you guys want to keep seeing it and i will keep bringing it back because what i want to do here is not only about what i want to do but also about what you guys want to see i will enjoy it either way so that's it you guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already as an emoji today let's just leave something related to creams if you watch the entire video i love you and i guess i'll see you on the next one bye bye